Hey everybody, Chris with Up North Air Gunner. So today I'm out here with the FX Crown Mark II. And I'll tell you what guys, right now, I'm gonna say that this is probably my new favorite long range form factor as far as platforms go. The reason being is the way this sits in this chassis uh, from Sabre Tactical. So first off is just getting your sight picture really dialed in. So that adjustable cheek rest, obviously with the FX Crown Mark II, it's a bit lower than let's say the uh, Impact or the uh, Maverick or really any of the other um, air guns within the FX line. So that lower scope height allows you to bring that cheek rest down. The ability to adjust that uh, rear butt stock it really is critical. I think a lot of people don't really realize is that, you know, that connection point between you and your platform is just super important to be able to uh, adjust that, the length of pull. But one of the biggest things for me, um, as I've been shooting more and more, shooting prone, being able to kick that bipod out as far as I can out in front of that bottle. So that really is gonna help with your stability, tighten up your shot groups. So you also notice I swapped out the grip. So this is the uh, Ergo Grips uh, Zero Angle Grip. For me, when I'm shooting long range, I really like the way um, this engages my hand, the ergonomics of my arm, my, my, my trigger pull. So yeah, I really pretty much I've been switching out ergo grips for pretty much all my air guns at this point. So yeah, out here on front, we've got the Atlas Bipod Super Cal. Uh, I really love this. It's a much wider stance. It's kind of like the 5H, but it's not as big and bulky. And as always, the uh, Donnie FL, this is the uh, Donnie FL FX version. And if you're really quiet, you can actually hear how quiet this thing is. So let's take a listen. Pew, pew. So yeah, okay, so it feels good, it fits, but man, this thing is shooting lights out. Um, guys, it's, it's crazy um, what you can do with the harmonics of your barrel and just knowing, you know, your different pressures, your different, different hammer weight settings. And so just as a visual example, right here, this is right literally just out of the box, filled it up. And I got, you know, it's probably three, three inch group here. So not the greatest. Change the uh, harmonic tune up a little bit, tighten that up. So actually just one, two, three, four, five. I would say that's probably just over an inch, like maybe like 1.1 inches then change the velocity again so just different you know velocity settings opens back up move back to where i was with this one but adjusted it just a little bit more and actually the wind shifted on me on here on this on this group so this was the first three within geez that's got to be maybe 0 0.3 inches and then it shifted me on, on me again, you know, half inch, 100 yards. So we got some pretty crazy shifting wind out here today. There's my uh, shooting location out there, 100 yards. So I just wanted to pass on some information. You know, a lot of times when we get into uh, shooting slugs with air guns, I think a lot of people, they get really frustrated. I know I did. Um, it took me a long time to really kind of figure out what was going on with shooting slugs. And that's FX hybrids, NSAs. Pretty much any any slug that you shoot with an air gun through these barrels and if you're accustomed to shooting pellets with them One of the biggest differences really is that bearing surface is just so much bigger with a slug and it's really quite honestly It's just a lot less forgiving than with a pellet So I've been doing a lot of testing with the different things like harmonics You've seen that on my channel on my uh, Facebook page and Instagram I will say with slugs, what I'm finding is that harmonic tuning even more magnified. What I mean by that is when things start, when you start seeing your groups like really opening up, I mean, they get, sometimes they can get really bad, but if you stick with it and you find that harmonic tune, you find that just that harmony between your, your regulator and your hammer spring tension. And so when you first start getting into shooting slugs, first thing you should really do is focus on shrinking down that uh, standard deviation and extreme spread with velocity. And then once you get that tightened down with your uh, pressure and your hammer spring, then start going shooting group. So yeah, if your velocity isn't tight, you know, you're, you're gonna get some flyers. It's just not gonna be that tight group. So work on that first. Then you start coming out here and then you actually start harmonically tuning. You're gonna find that perfect sweet spot with velocity where that projectile with your barrel, the way you hold your gun, the way every little nut bolt <laughs> threaded on piece, your bipod, everything. 
everything goes into harmonic tuning. So don't think like, oh, I'm just gonna set it for, you know, 860 feet per second and it worked for Chris Turek or worked for somebody else. It's good. It should be flying straight. It should be shooting MOA groups. That's not how harmonic tuning really works at all, really. So yeah, we have those kind of windows of known, you know, good places. So yeah, try this like velocity range, try that velocity range, but your gun's gonna be completely different. So man, I tell you what, anyway, I'm loving this thing. First look. Again, when I first came out here, look at these shot groups, just total garbage, right? Three and a half inch group, started playing with it a little bit more, started shrinking down, shrinking down, shrinking down, started opening back up, brought it back to where it was. I mean, MOA, sub MOA at a hundred yards. So anyway, so yeah, stay tuned. I'll be doing some more with the Mark II. Take care, everybody. Stay warm, stay safe, take care.